I don't say I compete with any other carvers. We all have our own style. So every carving, I try to find myself from the very beginning till now. I can go to a job and make what they want. It's kind of wherever the chainsaw takes me. Anything I can try. I always tell my customers, make it a challenge. I've done eagles, I've done bears, I've done owls, I've done gnomes. The tree tells me what to do. I don't do anything. I literally sit there with the chainsaw and just go like this. There's no other way to explain it other than that. This is what I do to keep myself sharp and just have fun with it. It's relaxing. This is my hobby slash job slash everything that I want to do. It's, it's so fun. I couldn't ask for more. It's not just a carving, it's an experience. I was doing small crafts and I would just give them out. And I was doing these little slices, made discs out of the logs and then painted faces. My father-in-law, he's like, you ever think about chainsaw carving? Here, I'm like, dude, I'm cutting discs. This is the easiest thing you could ever do with a chainsaw is just up and down. But him saying that, I'm like, no, I never did. It's really cool. I, I don't see why I can't. And so I took it as a challenge. That night I carved a snowman. The next day I tried a bear. And with that, I saw what I could do differently. I could speed it up this way and just change these cuts and that'll be better. And with every carving since then, it's all about the best one you can do at that point. Now it's my full-time job. I do this every day. It's the greatest thing I could ever do, ever. If I'm going to carve something here, honestly, it takes me like 30 minutes to just set everything up. I just kind of walk around and stare at logs. And if I see something that I want to do, I'll bring it over here, set it up, and I start with the biggest saw first. Go with the biggest and work your way down. First thing I'm going to do with the carving is take all the big chunks off, whatever I can to get down to what I need. And then I break out the medium saws, the 50 cc's, and just go to town. On-site carving is I'm going to their house, I bring my trailer, and they give me an idea and I kind of run with it. Certain people really pick their animal and they that's, they're known for it. My style is, I wouldn't even know how to classify myself, a sloppy rustic. <laughs> uh, not having any rules is really where you get to explore your mind. There's a skill to it, I just don't know what it is. <laughs> My skill is listening to music and just kind of letting it do its thing. For when I'm doing quick carves, stuff like this, pine any type of soft wood and knots. What you don't want to use for firewood is what I want to carve because you'll get the coolest grain, you'll get an idea. Every little knot on a tree, that could be something's head, that could be an arm waving. This is one of my favorite pieces that I did. I call them the tree zombie, using all the limbs. I mean, just keeping them in there and then still doing his whole face. A lot of people don't know what they want. They might have a general idea or they have no clue. So my job is to talk to these people and find something in that conversation that I can be like, all right, I have an idea and just go with that. I love talking to my customers. Without them, I couldn't do this. So every one of them is like my favorite person. When I'm on a job, I am generally so excited about everything we're doing. I like to think, pass this on to the customer. I love this. So I want to pass that fun. I do know what I'm doing even if it doesn't always look that way.